Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to have my review for you guys on the High Shops Hwasom Smart Gamepad for the iPhone 4 and 4S, iPhone 3G and 3GS, as well as the iPod Touch 4th generation. This is compatible with all of those devices via these interchangeable faceplates, which we'll get to in just a second. I'm also guessing on the pronunciation of the name Hwasom. I don't know if the H is, is silent or if it's just Wasom or Hwasom, but I don't know, it's a pretty Hwasom product. So I'm gonna go with Hwasom, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Cool beans, you can pick this one up over on the High Shops website for $23.95 and it is available only in the black color that you see here. I don't know if they have any plans to make it available in any other colors or not. I'm really not sure. So cool beans, let's go ahead, crack open the package and check it out. Inside the package, you are pretty much just going to get the three individual face plates as well as the gay smart gamepad itself. As you can see here, the one on it right now is the one that's compatible with the iPhone 4 and 4S. That's the one I'll be using with my iPhone 4. But there are also two other ones included, the iPhone 3G and 3GS faceplate, as well as the iPod Touch 4th Gen faceplate. And the way these work is, I'll set these off to the side, the way these work is you're pretty much going to remove the faceplate from the gamepad, flip it over, and you can see there are the little catches and clasps there around the side. You're simply going to take your iOS device, whichever one you're going to be using. I'm going to go with my iPhone 4S, and then simply kind of, you know, position it the way you want, and then snap it in to, to those snaps around the edges, just like so. It's a little bit tricky to get it on. Not real difficult, though. And then just simply snap it in all the way around just like so. A couple things you're going to want to be aware of before you pop this in. One, you're going to want to have the volume set to where you want it and make sure the vibrate switch is uh, not on. As well as the sleep-wake button. None of these are going to be accessible once you pop this in to the gamepad thing itself, as well as the uh, dock and sync connector and charging. You're not going to be able to charge while this is on here either. So this isn't something that you're probably not going to want to rock all of the time, but it is super handy. You could take it, put it in your backpack or something. It's not overly big. It's about the size of a PlayStation controller. Pretty much reminds me almost exactly of a PlayStation controller. So you can simply pop that into your backpack or something, carry it around. I see this being ideal for someone who does a lot of gaming on their iOS device. So then you're simply going to take it, slip it in just like so to those two notches in the bottom, like so. And then there's a catch here on the top. Simply pop that in just like so and you are good to go. As I mentioned, it pretty much looks exactly like a PlayStation controller. And what this is going to do, particularly for someone like me, if you have large hands or something, or if you do a lot of gaming on your iOS device, kind of the thing about the iPhone and the iPod Touch that make them awesome, um, is, you know, the fact that they're thin and light and so on and so forth, also kind of tend to take away from the gaming aspect of them if you're gaming for extended periods of time, um, they can be kind of hard to hold on to for extended periods of time. Basically what this is going to do is make it much more comfortable to play games on your device. So let's go ahead and you know launch one. As you can see, the home button still works. We'll go ahead and we'll launch uh, Sims 3 World Adventures. I don't have a whole lot of games here on my iPhone. I tend to do most of my gaming on my PS Vita. So, you know, I prefer analog sticks and directional buttons and, and so on and so forth. It's just my personal preference, but, you know, there are, there's a huge market for iOS gaming, obviously. So here we go. we just go ahead and launch it, show you a little bit of that, you know, as it's going along. And as you can see, it's really quite comfortable to hold on to. You can hold it just like you hold a PlayStation controller and, uh, you know, access all of the features of the game. You can slip into build mode if you like or exit build mode. Head to the city if you like, or you know whatever you may want to do, and accessing the screen still works great. I mean, it's not hard to access the screen at all. You reach your thumbs over, and it works really, really well. Um, tilting controls for uh, racing games. This would also be really comfortable for racing games with tilt controls. That would be really cool too. And you could still access the screen for your thumbs with, for braking and acceleration. So there you go. That's pretty much going to do it, guys, for my review on the High Shops. Awesome smart gamepad for the iPhone 4, 4S, 3G, 3GS. My phone's ringing. It's 
been one of those days I've been trying to shoot this the fourth time I've shot this video so there you go I don't know one of those days guys cool beans so that's pretty much gonna do it thanks for watching don't forget to smash the like button down there if you found this video helpful maybe go ahead and favorite it that definitely helps me out a lot and we'll see you guys in the next video cool beans rock on